Mr. Paradise, Pickin' Paradise, and this is the second episode, episode two of Lock Picking Belt Ride Along series that I've been doing. First of all, thanks. We had a lot of views and I've gained some subscribers from this and I'm hoping that it helps people. Uh, take note real quick that if you want a well-structured video that has a lot of visuals, then go to Helpful Lock Picker. He has a great home school and very, very good. Mine are just elementary, but I'm just doing it to try to help people. <clears throat> so, uh, Lock Solver on YouTube actually suggested that I do a lock list, and we'll put that in the comments, and they're all right here. The lock list that we'll be doing to get our belts, okay? So, white belt doesn't matter. You can use any kind of lock as long as you get it open. Post up photo. Master 141 is what we'll be using to get the yellow. An ACE 44 millimeter laminated lock is what we'll be getting our orange belt with. And our green belt, we're gonna be using a Master 410 LOTO lockout tag out. And our blue belt, we're gonna be using the American 1100. So uh, we'll take note really quick on keyways. And we get excited, we want to go out and grab a whole bunch of locks and start picking them after we've got our white belt. But we should be a little bit more strategical about that and do it a little bit more structured to work in our advantage so we can learn better. So we're gonna do that by a couple of ways. So keyways, the reason we're doing the 141 is because it has a very straight up and down keyway. Same reason we're gonna be using this LOTO instead of this LOTO for the green belt. So we'll put these side by side and see what a difficult keyway looks like and what a easier one looks like. So I've got that to focus first time pretty good. This one I can actually pick straight up and down with an 18 thousandths pick, okay? This one has this very hard corner over here and if we can try to get it focused a little bit better, we can maybe even see the first key pin but the paracentric keyway right there we can see it's beautiful photo so the one on the right is the paracentric keyway we kind of got to pick off from the side over here to get up there this one we can literally pick straight off the bottom and get straight up to the top so let's pick the easier one to learn from when we want to challenge and we want to really start building skills then we go to paracentric keyways okay so, uh, lock list, and we're going to focus on tools, okay? We're going to touch on tools really quick. Sorry about that. I'm going to get us some focus here. So, our tools. Uh, in my opinion, you should just buy individuals. You should not go out and buy a set because I really think all you need is like a hook one, three, and like five or six uh, steep hooks. And tension. Tension rods are most important. A lot of people get a set and they'll have these types of tension rod, uh, tension bars or wrenches in there. And they don't have the little notch that the Peterson pry bar does, okay? So contact with the, war, uh, with the warding or the core is paramount, okay? So we want to make as much contact with this warding or this core as possible, okay? So if we shove this into the top of that keyway there's nothing else really other than just this corner and this corner oh sorry this corner and this corner touching it so if we see we're trying to get it to focus for us we don't need to touch the camera there we go so we see all we're really doing is getting the top the the right and the left side to touch that and it's eating up a lot of that keyway so this is actually made for like a dimple lock or some other sort of lock. Uh, this is actually a very important uh, wrench because some these pry bars can't fit into. But nine out of time these pry bars are gonna be able to fit into something, especially if you have a 50 thousandths, which is really thick, and the Sparrows .37 actually would be my next selection other than the pry bar light, which is a 40 thousandths, because the 0.37 or 0.32 thousandths from Sparrows 
actually fits the 7240 A bus, which seems to be a popular lock. So uh, anyway, we want to do what's in our favor when we pick locks. And I'm bouncing around here a little bit, but I took a video earlier and it was a disaster. So I wanted to just try to get through all this information and not babble as much. So we're going to pick straight up and down keyways, okay? So the 141 has a straight up and down keyway. And when we go to get the LOTO, we're not gonna get the paracentric keyway. We're gonna get the more straight up and down one, okay? Also, the other thing that we would like to look out, the reason I have these keys laid out over here, see if we can focus a little bit more on those, is we wanna pick nice and easy keys, okay? We don't want extreme biddings. This actually has a pretty okay bidding. Uh, this first pin is gonna be hard for me to get by because as we can see with this hook, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but I think we can. It's gonna be hard for me to get by, so I'm gonna to have to go up a little bit to get by that, and then, oh, now I'm by it, and I can set the second pin, and then I can go, and I can set the third, and I can set the fourth and the fifth, okay? Not bad, but this one is extreme, okay? It's gonna be really tough for me to get past even one with this pick, and then two, I'm gonna to have to go up to get my pick by it, slide by two, and then three, I gotta, oh, I can barely set three and I still touch two while doing it. Then I'm gonna have to get by four, which is really tough to do, and then to five. Very challenging. Let's not get this for the beginning. Let's wait until we want a challenge and then we'll get key, keys that look like that. Same with the Masters LOTO. This is a more easy bidding. And this one is actually fairly easy besides pin six is really difficult to get to, okay? And we'll put notes on those later. So today we're focused on the yellow belt. I've got the, the white belt, it was awesome. Uh, Aperture underscore test subject actually gave me a nice warm welcome and he didn't know that I was an experienced picker. So it was really, really cool. So try to do that for all these new pickers, uh, even if you're new yourself. Encourage others to get into the hobby and, and give them some positive reinforcement. So on the tools, we'll go back to that now, bouncing a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, we talked about the tension wrenches, so I don't like these tension wrenches. I do love the pry bar, okay? Pry bar, pry bar like Peterson's. Now, if you got a Chinese set, you're gonna have this, or a Peterson's or a multi-pick. Now, a multi-pick doesn't need much sanding or fine tuning, actually, which is great. Uh, I still fine tune them a little bit by sanding them. Peterson's actually does need some sanding and fine tuning. And if you have a cheap Chinese set, don't worry about it. We can make that work. So basically what we want is we want like a short hook, which this is an in-between medium hook, and then this would be a steeper hook, okay? So what we wanna do though is we wanna take that one, we wanna take some 220 sandpaper and just sand it. We're gonna sand down the edges, we're gonna sand down these edges, all four sides. Uh, we can thin it up a little bit if we need to, and sand down all those edges. That's gonna improve our feedback and it's gonna allow the little burrs and stuff on that pick not to catch the wording and give us false feedback, which is very, very important. So we're gonna get into picking the 141, which is the lock uh, at hand for our yellow belt that we're going for now. And we're gonna try to give you guys some tips and approaches. So I always hold the lock like this. A lot of guys starting out, or a lot of people starting out, will actually hold the lock upside down because I think it's kind of easier to have your tension wrench and kind of get in there and then for whatever reason, I did this when I began too, it seems more comfortable to pick downward, okay? There's a lot of reasons that that's not practical and is not good. Um, however, some locks, it is much better to use. Uh, we'll grow though. But for now, what I'm gonna say is get a tension bar like this, okay? And we're gonna put that in there. It's gonna make a lot of contact with the core and it's the top of the keyway, not the bottom of the key, keyway, T-O-K, B-O-K. And what we're gonna focus on is whether we have the tension wrench in there or not, maybe even not, we're gonna stick our pick in and we're going to try and touch nothing other than the pins. We just want to lightly touch those pins 
and I can feel each one. I can feel them, they're bumpy. Very lightly. And then if I don't know how many pins it has, let's count them. We'll push up really hard. Four pins, we counted it. I think you could hear that. Now this is a little bit of a steeper hook. So if I used a, a, a little bit of a mellower hook, we could probably kind of get through those and hear those better. So let me pull out another Peterson. This is a hook. This is like a, a one or maybe even a three. It's a three, we can see it there on the handle and it will slide through there a lot easier. So we heard that, that's four. Now I know the 141s have all standard pins, so that's important. Uh, so other than before we stick our tension wrench in there, let's just try not to touch any of the sides or anything else. Let's just try to touch and feel each one of those pins and get that feeling, okay? What we don't wanna do is we don't wanna just pick this over and over and over and over again and create bad habits because we'll only really get good at picking this lock and no other lock. So we're going to rub those pins and fill each one. And now that we've kind of are confident of sticking our pin, our pick in there and touching those pins and filling them lightly and heavily, but lightly, I mean, literally they shouldn't even move up. We should just barely kind of feel our pick ride over the top of each one of those bouncing up and down slightly. So now we'll go ahead and put the top of keyway tension in and we'll apply pressure. Last time we, we spoke on light pressure, which is enough to hold a uh, piece of paper up against the wall. Uh, heavy tension would be about two or three times that. We're gonna go about medium on this. So double uh, what it would take to hold a piece of paper on the wall. And now what we're going to do is tension is number one. Okay, so don't if you're the, the pick and what you're doing in there isn't as important as your tension finger and where the tension is because when we start out you can see how my 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 fingernail gets all white and stuff tension you team you, you seem to put too much tension which will magnify your feedback from here but you want just enough which is still heavy and then you want to get in there and you want to fill the first pin it's springy Fill the second pin, one, two, two is less springy, three is really the first binder, and then four is still loose. So if I get in there, I'm gonna fill for the second pin. Now I'm on the third. We could hear that click. We know that one's set now. And now, because gravity is letting that key pin fall back down, not the driver pin, but the key pin, we can bounce it up and down. I can kind of feel how it's rattling and loose. I want to feel for that. I want to kind of get the touch and feel for that because that's gonna help me long-term, okay? And then what I can also do is I can feel how nice and loose it is. I'm like, yep, that thing is set. And then I can, that was four, sorry. And now I'm back on three. And what I'm gonna do now that I got that first pin set, I actually want to push it purposely and overset it to feel what that's like oversetting a pin. What it feels like is a slight click. Maybe you get a click, maybe you don't. Each lock is different, but it's kind of a mushy feeling. And it's like, oh, okay, that's kind of mushy. You feel much better in the higher quality locks, so don't expect it too much out of the 141. But let's reset now, and we'll go back, and we're gonna find that first binder, which we know is three. We're gonna get right on three. Click set. Let's go try to find four. Hmm. 
There's four. And I actually just overset one by accident. I actually like to try a steeper hook here. That hook wasn't as steep for me. Reset, okay? So uh, even experienced picker, sometimes you get misguided. So don't be afraid to reset because if you're just so committed to like sticking with what you got, you may have overset one and you're not gonna get an open. So go ahead and reset and just start right back from the beginning. Open isn't actually as important as learning something. So sometimes you don't even have to get an open. Just learn something about the lock. That's the most important thing. So let's go back in and we're gonna get number three again. And one was the last one, and now I'm open. Okay, and I just got that by progressively going through and filling each pin and seeing and feeling the difference in between them. Okay, so feel the difference between what a set pin and an overset pin feels like and go through that. Now all I need to do is take a picture of this, Send that to the mod saying yellow belt submission, model ma master lock, model 141, and boom, I'll have my yellow belt. We're probably gonna do a follow-up video on this so we can kind of get a little bit more detail and a little bit more better information on it. But we're kind of running at the normal length of a long video now, and we're probably going to wrap it up. Let me go ahead and take a look at my notes real quick to see if there's anything that I should mention. And I think I've kind of covered everything. And yeah, I think we're good. So from this, let's just go ahead and take the tension is number one. And what you're doing with the pick isn't as important as tension, but we don't want to touch anything else inside the lock other than the pins, okay? So I uh, do appreciate all the support and please follow up in the comments and I will have the lock list, which uh, lock solver YouTube channel actually suggested that I do that. I'll put that in the comments along with some other stuff and thanks a lot guys. Hope I'm helping. Aloha.